Humanity is a nonprofit that partners with the community and low income families to build affordable. The big things that we want to get across is that we sell the homes. The families pay a mortgage, a 30 year mortgage, just like everyone else. The difference being that they don't pay any interest. We don't charge any interest. So that's the, those are the key things. How much air I will need to breathe. So our goal is to have low income families have a stable environment to live in. Um, where they're not spending um, the majority of their income on housing. Yeah, will you let me drop? It, it has insulation, and the place that we live right now is really cold. Mm -hmm. The windows are really old, and there's no... And it's also, like, expensive. Mm -hmm. And that's how most rents are. More than they should be, and they're not my team. So. Yeah. meets the financial requirement, um, has a home visit where someone on staff or a volunteer comes and sees it. Is there a need? Is there mold? Is there water? Some man live his life for profits alone. That very same man, he lives his life all alone. I've been working with Howard doing some uh, laying some stuff down for the bathroom so when it floods it doesn't leak and make the wood warp. That very same man, he lives his life all alone. On any road to life. And we have painted all the walls and put extra coats on them and then um, we've swept the whole upstairs of the house to get all the dust out. <laughs> and we've talked to a lot of the uh, constructors here and I've learned a lot so far. It's really fun. Mr. Golly, why don't you come round no more? Oh, Mr. Golly, Golly, man, don't you hear me trouble call? But I'm Mr. Golly, man, I bet it ain't come to disturb. You best not be come round here unless you've got this. They need to uh, be willing to partner with the organization. One of the requirements is sweat equity. Each family needs to put in 500 hours of sweat equity. Now I almost done my 500 sweat, sweat uh, hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I have any 470. Yeah. Five or something. Yeah. You need to be a first-time home buyer, so that means they cannot purchase a house in the last three years. so great. I mean, Laura's really like spearheading it. Look good as I walked away. Michael and Gwen Manzi know all too well about the stress of packing up and moving. In the past five years, they have moved five times, 
chasing affordable rents. When they moved into their most current apartment a year ago, they hoped to be stable and finally establish some roots for their two sons. But they soon learned their new place had ant problems, mold issues, and old carpet that affected their children's allergies, leaving the Manzies no choice but to look for a healthier place to live yet again. Michael just didn't have enough to afford a safer place to call home. Well, the Manzi family, once again, will have to pack up and move their stuff into their new home at Victoria Cottages, they are gladly up to the challenge, knowing it will be the last time they will ever have to move.